बसमीम डे स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक आज हम लेक्चर नंबर तीस पढ़ेंगे और दिस दिस इज द कोर्स बिजनेस इकनॉमिक्स ई सी ओ फोर हंड्रेड पहली की तरह आई विल ट्राई टू रिवाइज वट वी हैव लर्न इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर जैसा कि मैंने आपको बताया कि वी हैव डन विद द टू मेजर पार्ट्स ऑफ दिस कोर्स that is the micro part and then we have done with the macro economics part uh, in the last lecture in lecture number 29 uh, we start we have started to discuss uh, the pakistan economy right so all the concepts which we have learned uh, during the previous lectures unko koshish karenge ki how we can apply or see those concepts in terms of pakistan economy मैं कैसे देखेंगे उनको तो पिछले लेक्चर में वी हैव आई हैव गिवन यू दी ओवर व्यू ऑफ पाकिस्तान इकानमी फॉर द पास फिफ्टी सिक्सटी ईयर्स हाउ वी स्पेंड दो सिक्सटी ईयर्स एंड वट वार दी प्रोग्रेस इन डिफरेंट इराज ऑफ पाकिस्तान इकानमी वी स्टार्टेड टू डिस्कस फ्राम नाइनटीन फोर्टी सेवन एंड एंड टू थाउजेंड इलेवन तो डिफरेंट एरियाज की बात की हमने ये देखा कि मुख्तलिफ सालों में देर वार अप्स एंड डाउन इन द पाकिस्तान इकानमी ओवरऑल देर वॉज लॉट ऑफ फ्लैक्चुएशन इन जी डी पी ग्रोथ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट में बहुत सारी फ्लैक्चुएशन देखी हमने इसी तरह इन्फ्लेशन की हमने बात की सो वी हैव लुक ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द पैरामीटर्स ऑफ पाकिस्तान इकानमी ओवर द पास फिफ्टी ईयर्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर and then we have also touched upon uh, the structural changes or structural adjustment program of pakistan economy so we have said that uh, why these programs are important why these programs are needed and how we can implement or uh, use those program to foster the economic growth in pakistan economy to uske bare mein bhi baat ki so this was just an brief overview of the previous lecture jisme humne baat ki thi ki pichle 60 saalon mein pakistan economy mein kya surat hal rahi hai aaj se hum jo baaki 3 se 4 lecture hamare reh gaye we'll talk about uh, different sectors the performance of different sectors of pakistan economy during the past uh, 50 60 years uh, are we'll talk about the problem associated with those sectors we'll talk about the uh, policies regarding those sectors uh, we'll talk about the production or uh, we'll talk about the output of those sectors uh, issues problems ki baat karenge aur policies ki baat karenge uh, so this is uh, in uh, this this will be the scope of the कमिंग लेक्चर्स तो आज जिस चीज़ पर हम बात कर रहे हैं जिस पर्टिकुलर सेक्टर पर बात कर रहे हैं पाकिस्तान इकानमी के हवाले से सो दैट इज़ द एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर ऑफ पाकिस्तान तो विल टाक अबाउट द एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर ऑफ पाकिस्तान इन टू डेज लेक्चर इन डिटेल के वट इज़ द सिचुएशन ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर्स इन पाकिस्तान सिंस इंडिपेंडेंस एंड वट इज़ द करंट सिचुएशन इन पाकिस्तान एंड वट आर द गवर्नमेंट पॉलिसीज वट गवर्नमेंट्स आर टेकिंग स्टेप्स टू इम्प्रूव the agriculture production agriculture sectors in pakistan economy so ye aaj ke scope of lecture hai so the sequence of the lecture outline is that first of all i would like to tell you something about briefly the agriculture sectors and then we'll talk about the agriculture policies uh, given from given by the government of pakistan from time to time so these this is the sequence uh, which we will follow in our today's lecture so start karte hain Uh, as we, agriculture is not confined to only the product uh, to or not confined to the cultivation of the land growing uh, and harvesting crops uh, but there are some other things or other uh, factors that needs to be included in the agriculture sector right that are also in, that also part of the agriculture sector so hum ye kehte hain ki agriculture sirf ज़मीन में काश्तकारी का नाम नहीं है कि आप फसलें उगाते हैं उनको काटते हैं देन सप्लाई एंड इन द मार्केट एंड गेट मनी आर इनकम फ्राम दोज फ्राम द इन रिटर्न बट 
there are some other uh, important factors or uh, sectors which which are the part of agriculture sector unko bhi hame un pe bhi hame baat karni chahiye unko bhi focus karna chahiye because they are part of agriculture sector so uh, on one side jab aap crops ki baat karte hain uh, cultivation of land ki baat karte hain different crops ki baat karte hain aur sath un harvesting ki baat karte hain sath sath aapko un sectors ka bhi baat karni chahiye to agriculture sector jo hai is not only confined to the cultivation of land and growing crops and harvesting crops but there are some other sectors uh, some other concept which are the part of agriculture and are playing important role in pakistan economy uh, agriculture sector also agriculture sector also includes uh, livestock livestock is very very important uh, part of agriculture sector so 49.1% of value added goods in agriculture sectors are uh, from the livestock sectors and 11.4% of gdp right so uh, livestock added uh, adds into the agriculture sector by 49.1% and if we measure it in terms of gdp it it, it, it accounts 11.4% of gdp 30 35 millions of rural population engage in livestock raising right so yeah, as far as the employment uh, generation is concerned 30 se 35 million tak log jo hai livestock jo hai uh, in dehati ilakon mein rural areas mein and they are busy in livestock raising right this is one of the important area of agriculture so agriculture also uh, uh, includes the livestock breeding second important area that in, that is included in area the, the, that is the part of agriculture sector is the fish farming although it has a small contribution in gdp still earn foreign exchange through exports right though agarche iska thodi contribution hai gdp mein but still it earns a, a foreign exchange by exporting fish uh, fishing or fishing products to other countries good new it is good neutral value of fish with protein content of 15 20% important source of livelihood for coastal inhabitants in in habitants coastal areas mein jo log reh rahe the unke liye ek important source of income hai unke rozgar ka wasila hota hai so in 2003 and 4 ki agar baat kare so and uh, 90 90000 plus millions of fish and fishery products were exported right so in this particular one year uh, 90 million plus fish and fishery products were exported to other countries and it, and the earnings were were, were almost rupees 7.6 billion through those exports of fish and fishery products so fish farming jo hai uh, is also a very important part and parcel of agriculture sector uh, so this is one of the good or important source of income uh, or earnings for the people who are living there on coastal areas also we exports and the fish and fish products and uh, it adds into the foreign exchange of the country and the third jo important area hai which is also part of the agriculture it ma- it is included in the agriculture it is the poultry farming poultry farming has emerged as a good substitute of beef and mutton with 336 million chickens production and uh, 4850 million eggs and 300,000 303,000 tons Uh, poultry meat in 2003 so ek ek saal mein so itna so 350 million ke kareeb jo hai uh, chicken um, ki so meat ki sold uh, selling hui uh, eggs jo jitne produce hue sold hue and then the uh, meat jitna sold hua so you can imagine and you can imagine it has a major uh, contribution in agriculture sector so poultry farming jo hai is one of the new area as important uh, part of the agriculture sector last and important part is the forestry forestry also included in the agriculture sector now forestry 4.8 of the total land is under 
forest. Recommended level is 20-25%, but in case of Pakistan, uh, the total land uh, under forest is 4.8%. But the recommended figures by the expert is that at least 20-25% of the total area should be under the forest, right? So um, it is uh, it, it 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 is it's good for uh, bad environmental conditions. It, it is very healthy. It provides very healthy environment to the society to the individual living in the country so we can we can by by looking at this slide aap andaza kar sakte hain ki agriculture jo hai sirf uh, zameen mein fasle lagane ka naam nahi hai unko kaat ke unko bechne ka naam nahi hai iske sath sath agriculture mein hum uh, bahut sare aur areas ko bhi shamil karte hain wo shamil hote hain part of agriculture hote hain like humne baat ki livestock farming ki uske baad fishery farming ki humne baat ki poultry farming ki baat ki and then we have talked about forestry so all these are important part of agriculture sector so we have to or the government of pakistan has to look uh, or consider these uh, they consider the development of these areas also when they are considering the development of ag ag agriculture crops and and other things so they must look at these areas also if they want to promote really agriculture sector in the economy so this is just uh, the brief introduction of agriculture sector what is about the agriculture sector and what kind of areas are included in the agriculture sector now there are two leading successes of pakistan agriculture sector so if you we look at the history of pakistan so there are two leading successes of pakistan agriculture sector jo sabse pehli success hai that is the green revolution in the nine, late 1960s to so 1960s mein late 1960s mein green revolution aaya tha pakistan mein jisse uh, there was tremendous increase in the produ agricultural production in pakistan uh, usse earnings zyada hui thi aur employment zyada hui thi so that is one of the a leading success of pakistan agriculture sector so first of all before go to the second uh, success of pakistan agriculture sector and uh, we'll look at the what is green revolution is all about now green revolution means introduction of new technology in agriculture sector in order to increase its production through different measures right so but when we say that the word green revolution it implies that introduction of new technology in the agriculture sectors in order to increase production by adopting different measures in this particular sector many of the world countries made diversified efforts through farming measures now we, if we look uh, we are going to see few measures so different countries have adopted different measures to promote or to increase agricultural production right so uh, by adopting new techniques new technology in the agricultural sector or in the production of agriculture sector right now so green revolution means uh, adopt uh, it is the uh, introduction of new technologies or adoption of new technology in order to increase the agriculture sector production uh, by using different measures to so different mulkon ne mukhtalif timings pe different measures use kiye to increase agri product agriculture production and that is known as the green revolution right so one of the measures that uh, some of the countries have adopted is the introduction of newly high yield varieties of wheat rice and maize bahut sare mamalik ne naye jo hai beej use kiye in for the wheat crops rice and maize jab when you use new varieties latest varieties of uh, different crops of course and they are these those varieties are comparatively more productive as compared to the previous or uh, the old varieties right and some of uh, second uh, my area is that improvement in per uh, acre yield through the quantity quality fertilizers to compensate for the land deficiencies in many less developed countries so in most of the countries have used quality fertilizer in order to cover up the deficiencies of the land right so agar land itni zyada wo zarar khez nahi hai zameen itni zarar khez nahi hai to bahut se mamalik ne they have used the new fertilizer or the quality fertilizer in order to raise the quality quality of the land right uh, to improve the deficiencies of the land uh, and and this is uh, done by most of the developing countries or the developed and the developed countries and this is very useful measure to raise 
agriculture production. So Pakistan has also used uh, basically uh, this mayor to raise agriculture production in the Green Revolution. The third mayor which was used under the Green Revolution by Pakistan also is the pesticide and in, uh, insecticides have expanded the average single farmer can tend by reducing the time required to disinfect the crop, right? So, both the pesticides, uh, insecticides, uh, they were used by the farmers basically to disinfect the crop from different diseases, right? Yes, I can see it. If you news, you can see it. آپ کو اندازہ ہو گیا آپ جانتے ہوں گے کہ جب ویٹ یا کراپ کی بات آتی ہے رائس کی بات آتی ہے تو you can listen news from the TV or from other media آپ سنتے ہوں گے کہ بتاتے ہیں کہ different قسم کی بیماریاں ہیں different قسم کی insects ہیں جو کہ کراپس کو نقصان دیتے ہیں they are not good or harmful for the crops right تو pesticide different pesticides were introduced in this green revolution and then uh, for to disinfect the crops from different diseases. This is again one of the measures to raise agriculture production in the country. And other measures of green revolution irrigation has made double uh, cropping feasible in many countries where normal, formally one harvest a year was standard. So, बहुत सारे मामलेक में and in Pakistan also जहाँ पे साल में एक फसल जो है ज़मीन से उठाई जाती थी, पैद प्रोड्यूस की जाती थी, ये the available and a good irrigation system in the country उससे कोशिश की गई कि बजाय एक क्रॉप उगाने के कल्टीवेट करने के गवर्नमेंट ऑफ़ पाकिस्तान has tried and most of the other developed underdeveloped countries have tried to to double cropping uh, in their in, in the country by uh, by with the help of irrigation facilities available in the country and for fifth uh, the, the new methods of rotating crops were developed with increased land productivity right so different methods were used to rotate crops in different time periods and which has increased the land productivity and in and and, 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 and and finally it has increased agricultural production uh, in the economy and then uh, new shorter plants have been discovered that are more responsive to fertilizer. So, एक तकीक के जरिए shorter plants की discovery की गई जो के more responsive में fertilizer के uh, and then similarly some studies uh, sturdier st 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 types are more disease resistant. Now, and these uh, type of uh, uh, these type of plants are more uh, disease resistant as compared to other plants. So, kuch plants, kuch aise plants discover kiye gaye, which are more uh, disease resistant as compared to other plants. Uh, botanists have been able to breed the photosensitive genes out of plants, making planting possible at any time of the year. So, the researchers, who have photonists name research key, and they said that uh, they introduce uh, different kind of uh, methods, measures, just ki wajan se, uh, you can see that uh, plant ca can be made possible at any time of the year uh, during, in, in the country or in the economy. So, these but some of the mayors of green revolutions and that was uh, were adopted by the Pakistan economy uh, in the late 60s and then it has it helped it has it, it helped in increasing the agricultural productivity and overall percentage or contribution of G uh, agriculture sector in GDP in Pakistan economy impact of green revolution uh, of course uh, it has uh, it had impact on production consumption overall societal development uh, leading to a tangible increase in production of agricultural product, uh, per, per products and easy and cheaper supply of products to the consumer right so there are multiple impacts of uh, there were multiple impact of though that particular uh, green revolution in pakistan economy and is on agricultural production, consumption, so on society, leading to greater production or in uh, tangible increase in the agriculture sector production, and of course provide cheaper goods to the consumer. So, right, and then ag uh, it uh, the green revolution has also an important impact on the increase in agricultural production. Impact on agricultural production per acre yield 
million tons 1963-1964 and that is about 11.1 in 1968-89 is 70 million agricultural income year income in current prices is rupees uh, in 1959-60 was 7.7 7, but in if you after 10 years in late 60s when there was a green revolution so that income was raised from 7.7 7 million to 15.5 million almost double right so green revolution has a lot of impacts on uh, production uh, of agriculture sector crops as well as employment employment generated real wages right so uh, this is how green revolutions in late 60s has contributed in agriculture sectors of pakistan economy so this was a brief now this was the first success of pakistan agriculture sector now if we uh, we talk about the second important success you can see on the bottom of this slide uh, it is the tripling uh, cotton production over 1980s due to the use of quality seeds and proper incentive to the sector <coughs> so 1980s means you have and there was tremendous increase in the production of uh, uh, cotton crops uh, due to use of better quality seeds and incentive provided by the government to this particular sector in Pakistan economy. So those success ki baat ki, which are very very important successes in Pakistan agriculture sector. And ki jab baat karte hain, ek baat ki there, uh, we have talked about the green revolution in the late 60s, jis ki wajah se agriculture production mein azafa hua, employment mein azafa hua, aur Logon ko cheeze saste rates per mili because of uh, huge uh, production of goods and services in the agriculture sector. Second jo success hai agriculture sector ki in Pakistan economy is the tripling of the agriculture crops, agriculture production in 1980s due to the availability of new seeds, variety of new seeds and technology as well as the policies of the government to encourage uh, to produce or to grow wheat as a grow, grow, grow cotton uh, for the farmers or for the growers in Pakistan. So these were the two significant achievements or successes, successes of uh, Pakistan agriculture sector. Uh, now we'll try to see the agriculture sector uh, in different timings, what was the performance, what was the contribution of agriculture sector in GDP and so on. Uh, overview how it remains over the time how it contributed to the world market now in 1947 agriculture sector accounted for 53 percent of GDP so the Pakistan was major contribution in GDP were from the agriculture sectors I just recommend that 50 percent 53 percent of the agriculture sector counted for uh, GDP in 2005 so it, the percentage is only 23 percent so almost uh, more than half uh, contribution mein. and then if we talk about the very recent years is 2011 ki the contribution of agriculture sector in GDP is 21 percent of the GDP uh, Pakistan is ranked in Muslim words uh, fifth in Muslim words and 20th in the world wide in farm output right so agar Muslim countries ki baat kare, to we are at number five as far as farm output is concerned and if you compare it in the word or you look at the word so we are at number 20th uh, in the production of farm output Pakistan is one of the fifth largest milk producer country of the world right so we are at number five as far as milk production is concerned uh, in the world overall in 2005 wheat production was 21.591 million metric tons more than all of Africa and nearly as much as all of South America and this is the figure which we got from the FAO Federal Agency of Organization uh, Federal Agricultural Organization FAO Food and Agricultural Organization uh, is the international organization uh, which provide information about the agriculture sectors of different countries. So this is one of the leading organizations in the world that is Food, Agriculture, 
organization. Livestock sectors con uh, contributes half of the value added in agriculture sector amounting to nearly about 11% of GDP more than the crop more than the crop sector right so livestock jo hai jiski humne abhi pichli slide mein bhi baat ki it has a, almost 11% of GDP and more, it, it contributes more uh, much more than the other crops of the agriculture sectors now pakistan is also uh, asia largest camel market second largest apricot and ghee market uh, third largest cotton market or third largest cotton onion and oil market so if we compare uh, different products in the country of the country by uh, the international level so we can rank we see that Pakistan ha is at very very important positions uh, among top of the countries uh, who are producing different agricultural products right so this shows that uh, Pakistan agriculture uh, is very very important and has significant contributions to GDP and the government of Pakistan needs to focus uh, on this particular sector because it is the backbone of Pakistan economy. Now, fisheries provide direct employment to 400,000 and uh, indirect employment to 500,000 people. It contributes approximately 120 million dollar to exports. Now, fisheries ki jab humne baat ki again, it is very very important. Jaise ki aapne dekha, almost 400,000 logon ko direct em log eh, nokniye milti hain, and there are 500,000 uh, people who are indirectly involved in fisheries activities uh, in one another way, and uh, it contributes to uh, exports of approximately 120 million US dollar to exports of the country. Uh, agriculture crops uh, such as cotton, sugar are provide raw material uh, for two more for two of the most important industries in Pakistan which is the textile and the sugar right so there uh, the, in agriculture sector uh, jo important crops hai, which is the uh, cotton and the sugar cane these are the two important crops of agriculture sector which provide uh, the raw material of the two important industries in Pakistan which are textile and sugar industry in Pakistan Pakistan's unsatisfied performance is mainly due to international methods of cultivation, traditional methods of cultivation, illiteracy, and uniform rural population. Right. So, if we talk about the low productivity of the agriculture sector, it is mainly due to the uh, traditional old methods of agricultural production or uh, cultivations, and most of the people in rural areas are illiterate, they are uh, and, uh, not educated individuals, so they are not aware of the latest techniques or the modern techniques available for the agricultural production and uh, which can raise agricultural production uh, in Pakistan economy and uniform rural population. So, no and uh, different uh, levels of populations in the rural areas. Now, total supply of agricultural credit has increased from big, uh, 60, 87 million in 1959 to 47 in 2004 billion, right? So, it's tremendous increase in the provision for, uh, as far as the credit provision is concerned, uh, but still uh, the government needs to provide more incentive, more credit uh, to promote agriculture sector in Pakistan economy. Now, supply of other inputs has been increased like tractors imported and they were locally produced also, supply of fertilizers, seeds, irrigation facilities and so on. So, with the passage of time, uh, Pakistan from independence to now so supply of inputs uh, has also been increased tremendously uh, government has uh, provided incentive for the import of tractors uh, there is increase in the supply and production of local tractors supply of fertilizers uh, seeds and irrigation facilities despite of increased input over the time in the agriculture sector of Pakistan economy the output has been not been increased accordingly. This is how say out inputs buddy hai, uh, 
آؤٹ پوٹ میں اس حساب سے اضافہ نہیں ہوا تو ہم یہ کہہ سکتے ہیں دیر از ڈکریزنگ ریٹرن ٹو اسکیل ان ایگریکلچر سیکٹر آف پاکستان اکانومی جیسا کہ ہم نے کہا کہ دیر از لاٹ آف انکریز ٹریمنڈس انکریز ان دی ان پوٹس یوز ان دی ایگریکلچر پروڈکشن لائک اویلیبلٹی آف ٹریکٹرز امپورٹڈ ان لوکل ٹریکٹرز سپلائی آف فرٹیلائزر سیڈس ورائٹیز ایز ویل ایز ایریگیشن فیسلٹیز دیر از لاٹ آف انکریز ان دی سپلائی آف ان پوٹس بٹ آؤٹ پٹ آف ایگریکلچر سیکٹر ہیز ناٹ انکریز ایز مچ ایز انکریز ان پوٹ تو وی کین سی دیٹ دیر از ڈکریزنگ ریٹرن ٹو اسکیل ان دی ایگریکلچر سیکٹر آف پروڈکشن ایز وی نو دیٹ وین دا انکریز ان آؤٹ پٹ از لیس دین دا انکریز ان پوٹ دیٹ از نون ایز دا ڈکریزنگ ریٹرن ٹو اسکیل اینڈ اینڈ وی ہیو آلسو لرن دیٹ وین دا انکریز ان آؤٹ پٹ از مور دین دا انکریز ان پوٹ سو دیٹ از دی انکریزنگ ریٹرن ٹو اسکیل آف پروڈکشن Now, uh, if we look at the recent performance of agriculture sectors, so we can see that the agriculture sector has lost a significant growth momentum as its growth slowed down to 2.7% in 2000 as against 4.4%. The target was 4.4% in 2002, but it, uh, the growth of agriculture sector was only 2.2% in in 90s and and 4.5 percent in the in late 1960s so if we compare different years so uh, 90s 80s may 5.4 growth rahi agriculture sector may 90s may 4.4 rahi uh, and then in 2000 it is 2.7 so there is a significant decrease in the growth of agriculture sectors if we compare the last 30 years of pakistan economy so in 80s may jo agriculture sector growth thi it was 5.4 percent then it came down to 4.4 percent in 90s and then then in 2000s it is uh, just 2.7 percent so you can see that this is the recent performance of agriculture sector in pakistan economy to pichle 30 saalon mein agar compare kare agriculture sector ki growth ko different decades ko to there is a significant decrease in the growth of agriculture sector in pakistan economy the structural problem is the main problem of agriculture sector and lack of mechanized uh mechanization remains an Im important or main impediments to growth of the agriculture sector so though jo issues are though jo problem main rahe hain jinki wajah se hum keh sakte hain ki pakistan mein and there is a uh, significant decrease in the growth of agriculture sector of course the problem is uh, there are structural problem change in the structure of the agriculture sector and second is the uh, as the mechanizations and uh, lack of mechanization remains the main problem of uh, growth of agriculture sector major crop remain the victims of natural calamities during the last few years the major crops in like wheat rice and cotton so they remain the victims of uh, natural calamities like floods uh, like diseases different diseases during the last few years and three out of last four years witnesses negative growth in the major crop sectors to agar pichle chand saalon mein dekhe because of those calamities natural calamities uh, the four uh, in the last four years so major crops has witnessed negative growth instead of positive growth in those sectors it causes declining trend of the agriculture sector contribution in the gdp so when there is negative growth of the major crops in pakistan economy or in agriculture sector so naturally the contribution of agriculture sectors in pakistan economy has declined during those particular years Uh, so this is the recent performance of Pakistan agriculture sector uh, uh, if you look at this slide just to give you an idea uh, how much is the agriculture sector growth in different years uh, specifically in the last past few years in Pakistan, Pakistan economy uh, so in the first column um, we have different years second column we have the agriculture sector the growth up the whole sectors then we have the growth of different crops major crops minor crops uh, and other areas of agriculture sector like livestock fisheries and forestry if we look at the figures uh, of 2004 and 
and the growth rate of agriculture sector was 6.5% in 2004. Major crops ki jo growth thi that was 17.7% and minor crops ki jo growth thi that was only 1.5% and livestock the growth of livestock was 2.3% and the growth of fisheries was 0.6 percent and the forestry went to negative uh, that is the minus 30.24 percent uh, so uh, this is uh, the in 2004 and 5 now if we compare this growth with like for suppose in 2007 and 8 right so the growth rate of agriculture sector in 2004 and 5 was 6.5 percent overall but if you look at the growth rate of agriculture sector in 2007 and 8 it is it goes down to 1% and then major crops and that was the major reason why that the major crops growth sector growth went into negative minus 6.4 Oske baad minus ki 10.9, livestock 4.2, fisheries 9.2 and again the forestry is again negative. Now if we compare it with the last uh, year which is the 2010 and 11 and uh, estimate so the growth rate of overall agriculture sector is just 1.2 percent which is very very low as compared to the 2004 and 5 year when agriculture sector growth rate 6.5 percent which is just now 1.2 percent which is significantly low as compared to that particular year and the growth rate of major crop is minus 4 right it went to negative right decline in the agriculture and major crop production of major agriculture uh, major crops uh, so this maybe this could be one of the main reason of decline in overall sectors growth uh, minor sectors ki growth may be it come uh, is it is it's better as compared to if we compare it to the other years uh, it is 4.8 percent livestock growth is to 3.7 percent uh, fisheries ki baat kare, it went to 1.9 percent which is again if significantly low as compared to 2005 and 6 uh, fish forestry again negative uh, it's minus 0.4 so, so because of the growth low growth of all sectors are uh, areas of agriculture sectors and this contributes towards low growth of overall agriculture sector the so, overall agriculture sector growth may be up coming back here or the reason is the low growth of each particular area of the agriculture sector in Pakistan economy so this table basically can give you an overview of the agriculture sector growth rate uh, in total uh, major crops ki baat ki minor crops ki growth rate aapne dekha mukhtalif saalon mein kya raha and then we have uh, compared the growth rate of uh, livestock fisheries and forestries in different years uh, in Pakistan economy. Now what are the salient features or the important features of uh, agriculture sector in Pakistan economy? Now agriculture sector employs 42-44% of the workforce in the country. So 44% log jo hain total labor force ke they are employed in agriculture sector right 93 percent of the those engaged in agriculture sector are small farmers so us 44 percent may say 93 percent which are engaged in agriculture in agriculture are small farmers chote kisane total geographical area uh, is that 79.6 million hectares now only 27 percent of this area is under cultivation right 80 percent of this area uh, is ir ir uh, irrigated right out of 27 percent area just ki amne baat ki is under cultivation to us me se 80 percent area itna aisa hai jo ke irrigated hai jis pe kaasht ki jati hai fasle kaasht ki jati hai but approximately out of that 27 percent 20 percent area aisa hai jo ke uh, of area in irrigation canal उसमें से 20 फीसद जो है 80 फीसद जो आप कह रहे हैं कि इरिगेटेड है वो उसमें से 20 फीसद एरिया ऐसा है जिसकी इरिगेशन थ्रू कैनाल सिस्टम होती है मोस्ट ऑफ द एरिया इज अफेक्टेड बाय वाटर लॉगिंग एंड सैलिनिटी एंड रिशल एरिया ऑफ 2.8 मिलियन हेक्टेयर्स इज अफेक्टेड बाय सोलिडिटी सोलिड 
right so so this is the overall picture of the area total area cultivated area and uncultivated area in pakistan uh, as far as agricultural sector is concerned no subsidies high cost of imports crops and livestock insurance lack of veterinary services lack of mechanization primitive management and use of modern techniques lack of education and training seed quality achieving and research and dissemination of knowledge all these are the problems of agriculture sectors ki koi subsidy nahi di jati high cost hai inputs ki crops jo hai livestock insurance nahi hai lack of uh, the services to the uh, vet, uh, lack of veterinary services hai mechanization ki kami hai nayi techniques use nahi ki jati मैनेजमेंट सही नहीं है एजुकेशन की बात करें देर इज लैक ऑफ एजुकेशन मोस्ट ऑफ द फार्मर्स आर इलिटरेट एंड दे हैव नो ट्रेनिंग एंड फैसिलिटीज आर नो ट्रेनिंग हैज बीन गिवन टू दोज फार्मर्स सीड क्वालिटी अच्छी यूज नहीं करती लैक ऑफ रिसर्च इन दिस एरिया एंड ऑफ कोर्स सिंस द मेजर part major most of the peoples in agriculture sector or the rural sector are illiterate so it's difficult to disseminate knowledge or information related to agriculture sectors and uh, to that particular segment of the society uh we'll continue with the sale and feature it is under uh, doc undocumented economy most of the uh, uh, things in agriculture sectors are undocumented no documentation is available no record is available how much has been produced by different uh, farmers and uh, uh, by producing different crops and so on what are the expenditures and what sources they get uh, from where they get income pesticide and so on no no documentation is available in this sector lack of investment so investment bahut kam hoti hai is area mein bahut kam log invest karte hain lack of delivery mechanism so there is a problem in the delivery how they deliver uh, their product to the market say that again there's lack of delivery mechanism no available no, there's no mechanism available of properly delivery of the pro uh, crops or the production to the uh, market no corporations as is considered attempt to create big businesses um industry ki baat kare manufacturing sector ki baat kare there are corporations which can be helpful useful for promoting industry or manufacturing sector but in case of agriculture sectors there is no corporation available which can help and promote agricultural uh, sectors in the pakistan lack of <coughs> land reforms no land reforms in pakistan economy lack of organized markets in fair value assessment no there is lack of organized markets in pakistan economy as far as agriculture sector is concerned so there is no fair assessment of the agriculture production or the crops produced by the farmers unko sahi value nahi milti right so there is lack of organized market in the agriculture sector lack of reliable statistics no statistics so the statistics which is available and um, by different sources it's difficult to reliable it's it's it's, it's not a reliable figure so you can't say that this is correct or this would be the exact figure so which is given in some sources institutional arrangements so, so there is lack of institutional arrangements at the government level to promote agriculture in the pakistan economy so these were the salient features of uh, pakistan uh, agriculture sector now we'll see that uh, jaisa ki humne pehle baat ki hai के एक टेबल में आपने देखा ओवरऑल ग्रोथ की हमने बात की सेक्टर की उसके बाद मेजर क्रॉप्स की बात की माइनर क्रॉप्स की बात की नो विल सी दैट व्हाट आर द मेजर क्रॉप्स व्हाट आर द माइनर क्रॉप्स एंड हाउ मच दे कंट्रीब्यूट इन द जीडीपी एज ए परसेंटेज ऑफ जीडीपी cotton as uh, now first we look at the major crops of uh, the agriculture sector in pakistan economy cotton is one of the major crop uh, in pakistan agriculture sector and 8.2% of the value added in agriculture sector and about it it accounts 2% of the to, to accounts 2% to gdp overall एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर में जो इसकी कंट्रीब्यूशन है दैट इज 8.2 परसेंट जो कॉटन क्रॉप है विच इज वन ऑफ द मेजर क्रॉप एंड इट अकाउंट्स 2 परसेंट टू जीडीपी 
uh, of the country. Rice is again another important major crops of agriculture sector in Pakistan economy. It earns substantial out, uh, amount of foreign exchange. Uh, rice you have Mukhtar Mamalik may exports kiya jata hai. Uh, it has a good market, international market, or is ke zariye hum Pakistan ko bahut sara foreign exchange milta hai. And 5.4 percent of the it, uh, it it adds into agricultural about 5.4 percent and 1.3 percent to GDP. So this is the second uh, major crop of agriculture sector in Pakistan economy. So it has. A, good contribution in GDP. Sugar cane is third major crop uh, which accounts 4.2 percent of value added in agriculture sector and 1 percent to GDP. Right, so uh, these are the three major crops, and the fourth major crop uh, uh, in Pakistan economy, just ki baat kar sakte hain, aap keh sakte hain, ye badi crop hai, badi fasal hain, right, is the wheat. Wheat, it, 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 13, 4, 13.4 percent of value added in the agriculture sector and about 3.4 percent to GDP. Other crop, major crops are tobaccos, mustard, rapeseed, maize and barley. So these are uh, the major crops of agriculture sectors in Pakistan economy. So, the biggest major crop is cotton, hai. Uske baad rice, hai. then we have a sugar cane, then we have wheat, then we have tobaccos, mustard, and rapeseed, maize, and barley. Now, what are the minor crops of uh, agriculture sector in Pakistan economy? So, minor crops are all major oil seed crops like cotton seed, rape seed, mustard seed, uh, sunflowers, canola, all uh, all these are the minor crops of agriculture sectors in Pakistan economy. So, जो बहुत सारे जो major oil seeds हैं, उनको हम minor crops का नाम देते हैं Pakistan agriculture sector में. So, most of these crops are imported, which is about seventy. 0.85 percent of the total availability and remaining 29.15 percent is made available through farming. So uh, most of the minor crops which are the oil seeds crops are imported from different countries and almost 70.85 percent of the total crops is imported from other countries and only 29.15 percent is made available through the local farming or through the local production uh, in Pakistan. So most of the pulses, tomato, potato, onions are other minor crops. So pulses, my tomato, onions and potatoes are all the other types or sorts of minor crops. So we have seen which are the major crops of Pakistan economy, which are the minor crops of agriculture sectors in Pakistan economy. So major crops we have seen that cotton, uh, rice, uh, sugar cane, wheat and uh, some other uh, major crops like tobacco, uh, mustard and rapeseed, maize and barley are the major crops of agriculture sectors in Pakistan economy. When we talked about minor crops, ki baat ki, to humne dekha, most of the oil seeds uh, jo hai, are the minor crops and the maximum part we import and a little bit uh, one thirty percent is is produced by the local farming, and some of the other minor crops are like potatoes, tomatoes, onions, uh, and and some other minor crops of agriculture sectors in Pakistan economy. So this is uh, all about major and minor crops of agriculture sectors in Pakistan economy. Now, series of major problems. If we talk about the problems of agriculture sectors in Pakistan economy, there are number of problems just ki baat ki ja sakti hai. Let us try to highlight some of the major problems of agriculture sectors in Pakistan economy. The first major problem is that despite the policy makers stress on crop diversification, policy makers ye kehte hain ki you should 
try to diversify in the your crops production and the economy is depending on instead of uh, the policy makers who stress that you have diversification line, multiple kinds of crops, lagai, uh, cultivate kare. And the major our economy is depending on cotton for more than half of its exports earnings. This strong dependence is dangerous given the climate and the viral induced setbacks that cotton production has historically experienced throughout Pakistan history. The uh, <coughs> uh, biggest problem in Pakistan agriculture sector is that the policy makers, the policy maker, government, the policy makers, 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 the in spite of all these uh, efforts, uh, the major dependence of Pakistan economy is on the uh, on the cotton crops, right? Uh, and the most of the earnings, export earnings, come through the cotton uh, crops products, right? So uh, this is uh, heavy dependence, uh, you know. Uh, there are, uh, but the cotton crops. Jaise ki aapko andaza hai, since independence uh, uh, is facing a lot of uh, problems like climate and viral in, uh, induced setbacks and that has significantly affected the cotton production in the country since independence till the time today. So this is one of the major problem ke hum diversifications jo hai, lack of diversification jo nahi hai crops mein, to ye ek issue ho sakta hai. Second jo major problem hai, uh, is the uh, food security uh, which should have been possible given the favorable resource endowment of the country. One of the largest irrigation system in the world has not been achieved so far. So as we, uh, if we say that we want to uh, provide food security to the individual, to the societies in Pakistan, uh, but so far the irrigation system hai hamara, uh, which is not very supportive uh, for the growth of agriculture sector in Pakistan economy. Right. So this irrigation system, which uh, canal system, hai, uh, is one of the best in the world, but you can, you, 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 we need to improve it further because it is very, very important impediments in the growth of uh, agriculture sector in Pakistan economy. Third jo important problem hai, jo major problem hai, a rapid increase in population. Population in bahut zyada tezi se zafaurat. If you see that, uh, annual growth rate of population is about 3%. Uh, so, uh, uh, when the population is growing so fast, so it has reduced the per capita agricultural production uh, rate in the Pakistan economy. So, this could be another problem or threat to agriculture sector in Pakistan economy. Fourth, is the growth in most recent decades has come from the more extensive and not extensive agriculture, right? Farming. So, is the chan salo mein jo growth hui hai agriculture sector mein that have come from the extensive. Extensive mean a lot of labor or laborious work and uh, crops ha, are grown on the large area instead of uh, an intensive agriculture means uh, farming on um, um, by on by using a mechanized way or new methods and small farmings taki uski productivity bade <coughs> so uh, in pakistan recent year growth ki baat kare uh, so the more focus has been given on the extensive instead of intensive agriculture uh, production. Zyada uh, area cultivate karne ki baat ki gaye, traditional crops ko kaas karne ki koshish ki gaye, but they have not focused or they are not given importance on the intensive and growth of the agriculture sectors. So this could be another important problem or threat to the agriculture sector in Pakistan economy. Paanchwa jo masla hai agriculture sector ka is productivity growth in agriculture has been small according to a number of indicators like 
output per hectare is very low in Pakistan uh, output per unit of single factor yield gaps between average and best farmer yield and total factor productivity so there are many many factors uh, it's been coffee research here and these factors are identified after a lot of research in Pakistan economy and which can become a cause of uh, low or small growth in agricultural productivity in Pakistan Sixth jo possible problem ho sakta hai, the government price system. Jo government ka jo system in prices ka, that is could be a, a, a problem of agriculture sector because this system has been criticized for reducing a number of distortions and incorrectly trying to remedy the situation through a series of input subsidies. So government phir koshish karti hai ki they inject wide and uh, they provide different subsidies uh, to basically cover up the distortions in prices of different crops. The price system the government announced, karti, the price government fixed karti of different products, ye bhi ek masla ho sakta hai and that has been criticized, uh, has been criticized by different sectors, different person are uh, by the agricultural farmers in Pakistan. Finally, koi jor masla ho sakta hai, it could be erratic and inconsistent policies Policies are not consistent and they are erratic and poor planning and management, for example, of the irrigation system, deficiency in providing fertilizers, lack of quality control on pesticides, inadequate investment in rural infrastructure, and improper research and extension services have played havoc uh, uh, with Pakistan agriculture sector, right? So these are some of the factors that just may aap baat kar sakte hain ke policy sahi nahi hai proper jo information hai fertilizer ke baare mein quality fertilizer use nahi ka quality pesticide use nahi kiye jate inadequate infrastructure proper nahi hai rural areas mein uh, agar jab transportation ki baat aati hai communication ki baat aati hai to government has not provided proper facilities to transport uh, their products from the field to the market right so these are some of the infrastructure problem proper research nahi hai, extension services provide nahi ki proper so these could be a possible threat or major problems to the agriculture sector in Pakistan economy so these are some of the main issues of the agriculture sector jin ki humne baat ki these could be possible uh, problems of Pakistan agriculture sectors uh, if you have some more issues, then so you can also add up those problems to the agriculture sector in Pakistan economy. Uh, agriculture credit ki baat karein. so ZTBL is one of the uh, institution or the commercial is, uh, is one of the institution or the bank uh, by the government of Pakistan uh, ZTBL is raised the Kiyati bank limited uh, there are some commercial banks available cooperative banks are there other provide domestic banks are the main providers of credit to the farmers the farmers can get credit for their crop production through ZTBL commercial banks corporate uh, cooperatives and other private domestic banks in 2003 and 4 only loan ex were extended to the farming uh, community was in the form of <coughs> so in 2004 and uh, loans were given to the farmers uh, in the form of production and development loans uh, the amount was uh, rupees 47.9 billions were dispersed uh, and then uh, through red TBL as compared to 30.6 billion in 2002. So if you compare the, uh, the disbursement of credit or loan to the farmers uh, in 2002 and 3, just like we have compared here, so almost 10 billion rupees additional dispersed kiye gaye just to promote, to give the credit or uh, promote the agriculture sector in the Pakistan economy. Uh, purpose wise disbursement of loans short term loan be available hai, long term loan be available hai. specific purpose ke liye bhi loan aap le sakte hai, farmers le sakte hai from these banks uh, women can also get credit for small farming in rural areas micro credit scheme up to rupees 25,000 can be advanced to both men and women Again, security loans are recoverable with 18 months. So, so there are different facilities, different kind of loans, uh, different kind of credits are available uh, uh, with the farmers 
to uh, from different banks like ZTBL commercial banks ki baat ki cooperatives bhi hain aur small banks bhi hote hain domestic banks bhi hote hain uh, in different regions but of course uh, there are some issues of uh, this agriculture credit there are problems with this agriculture credit it's not easy to get credit from these banks from these cooperatives or other institutions high cost of one of the problem is high cost of borrowing that farmer has to pay a return huge cost when they return or repay back the loan to the bank they have to pay the huge cost cost of borrowing visa visa rate of interest is very high this could be one of the problem of getting credit uh, from these banks uh, perceived high risk associated with agricultural landing uh, as we know that uh, agriculture crops are associated with high risk there is a problem that climate could be changed uh, wild infection could be there flood aa jate hain natural calamities aa jati hain uh, that can affect the agricultural crops production ko affect kar sakti hain so it would be difficult for the farmers to repay back the loan agar unki crops jo sahi nahi hoti ko uh, affect ho jati hai by some calamity hassle hassles in credit delivery so it's difficult to get credit there are a lot of problem issues hassles to get credit complex documentation lot of documentation is required if you visit the dbl or branch of that dbl so they ask a demand and uh, so many guarantees so many paperwork is involved collaterals requirement delays under financing and you most of the time there is under financing and uh, you can get cannot get the total amount committed by the bank to you so always there is under financing uh, 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 of different credits Uh, by these uh, banks limited access to credit to tenants farmers oral uh, uh, leases leases and share croppers a provision of adequate and timely credit bhi nahi hai time pe aapko credit nahi milta fasal ka time guzar jata hai lagane ka aur uske baad paise milte hain so that these are uh, some of the major and jo ke problem maine highlight kiye jo ke ho sakte hain farmers ko in obtaining credit from different banks or different sources now i will talk about the uh, some of the phases of agriculture sect agriculture growth agriculture growth in pakistan economy phase 1 that lasted up to 1960 is a period of agriculture neglect so 1960 tak jo hai is the first phase aur is phase tak uh, uh, agriculture sector was neglected mostly resulting in low annual growth rate of 1.5% phase 2 is between 1960 to 65 uh, trend was reversed growth rate was 3.9% so this is one of uh, this again in this time period 1960 to 65 uh, trend was reversed uh growth rate was improved from 1.5% to 3.9%. Phase 3 is the uh, 1965 to 70 is the time period which is known as phase 3 in the agriculture sector of Pakistan economy and during this time period uh the uh, the growth rate of agriculture sector was 7.78% and this is the period of as we talked about in the beginning this is the period of green revolution in agriculture sector in pakistan economy phase 4 uh, that is between 1972 and 77 growth rate declined to 1.67% and that is due to the number of exogenous and policy related features so again uh, after uh, the span of 10 years thus is pichle decade mein jisme extensive growth rate mein azafa hua agar aap 1970 to 77 ka period dekhe which is the phase 4 uh, of agriculture sector in pakistan economy to usme growth mein kafi kami waqia hui and the growth rate of that particular period was uh, 1.67% which is quite low if we compare the previous 10 years or the last 10 years of agriculture sector in pakistan economy in terms of dependent population 
اگر آپ ہاو مچ پاپولیشن از ڈیپنڈنگ آن ایگریکلچر سیکٹر کی بات کریں 82 پرسنٹ پاپولیشن ان 1951 واز ڈیپنڈنگ آن ایگریکلچر سیکٹر 77.5 پرسنٹ ان 1961 74% in 1972, uh, 71.72% uh, in 1981, and 79% in 1991, and so on. So if you can see that the dependence on agriculture sector uh, of population has decreased over the time period. So this basically, this slide gives you an idea of different phases of agriculture sector in Pakistan economy. So, as you can see, there are four phases that we have talked about and dependence on uh, population or agriculture sector that we have talked Now we will talk about the agriculture pricing policies which was the second part of today's lecture. Uh, so what kind of policies uh, were adopted by the government of Pakistan to promote agriculture sector in Pakistan economy. The pricing policy of agri out input and output determine direction of agricultural productivity and also income distribution of small farmers. Two factors are determined in agricultural productivity. Ko. One is the price of inputs and the price of output and it determines two things, agricultural production as well as income distribution among the small farmers. So, if uh, prices of inputs are low and prices of outputs are high, this will promote both uh, the agricultural productivity in Pakistan as well as it give a fair distribution of income among the farmers. Uh, a good agricultural pricing policy can be defined as the one where the price act as an incentive to produce certain goods in the required quantity. So a good agricultural policy kis ko kaya sakte hai? It is that policy jis mein incentive provide kiye jaye farmers ko in the form of low prices of input Put so that they can be motivated, they can cultivate more, they produce more and which in turn lead to increase in agricultural productivity in the country. So this could be one of the best agriculture policy of the agriculture sector in Pakistan. Uh, agriculture pricing ko continue karte hain. As you know that uh, there is a commission by the government of Pakistan with the name National Commission of Agriculture, uh, NCA. Uh, analyze the issue in the pricing policy of the first two decades <coughs> of the Pakistan economy and then they try to determine the agricultural policies respectively. Government fix the consumer retail price of agricultural goods at a low levels which depress the market for the producer. The government ne on two decades mein kya kiya? they fix the prices of products at low level and that basically demotivated depress the market prices for the products of those farmers. Heavy export duties were imposed on cotton to facilitate local industries. So another policy point was that government has imposed heavy duty on the import on the, uh, heavy duty export duties were imposed on the cotton to facilitate the local industry ko promote karne ke liye heavy duties imposed ki on the cotton exports. Uh, Inter-district and inter-province restrictions on the movement were imposed. So there were restrictions imposed by the government that uh, on the mobility of products between the districts and between the province. So that was another policy matter that was given by the government of Pakistan and in that time period. For a decade after independence, no systematic attempt was made to promote agriculture sector in the Pakistan. Industrial sector, the beginning of the 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, the other focus of Pakistan mein kiye gaya, that was on the industrial sector and agriculture sector was neglected at that time period. Barter trade was a common feature in the beginning in the first years of Pakistan economy where agricultural products were exchanged for the industrial machinery and input. So uh, agricultural products were provided to get the industrial products as well as the input for the manufacturing sector. Uh, due to these policies, agriculture sector was taken as a medium to protect industrial sector. So in policy ki base pe hum keh sakte hain, in the initial years of Pakistan economy, agriculture sector was taken as a medium to protect 
the industrial sector. NCA National Commission on Agriculture argued that the main objective of pricing policy of 1960 to 65 was to provide low cost food to urban population, to provide cheap raw material for agricultural production and to keep wages of agricultural factor low. So this was the policy of the government uh, in 1965, 1960 to 65. Now first step government took to encourage agriculture output was to subsidize agricultural imports which cover seeds. So government uh, has tried to boost up the agricultural productivity by providing subsidies, right? So government ne koshish ki ke subsidies provide ki jai in terms of uh, seeds, fertilizers, tube wells, plant protection and agricultural machinery. But this policy was biased toward large farmers. Ye jo subsidies provide ki gai in the form of seeds, in the form of tube wells, in the form of plants uh, and in the form of agricultural machinery. This, this policy was biased towards large farmers. The most of these subsidies were provided to the large farmers. Large farmers ko subsidies provide ki gai, facilities provide ki gai. Small farmers were ignored. Uh, by the government in that particular time period. So argument was ready to look behind the input subsidizing policy. Concept of minimum price support program was introduced to protect the farmers from fluctuation in international prices. Government has also given a policy or introduced the minimum support price of different crops, right? And the objective of introducing those minimum support prices of the crop was to basically protect the farmer from the fluctuations in prices in the international market. So this was another uh, policy matter uh, or the policy which was given to promote the agriculture sectors in Pakistan economy. La uh, last thing that we want to discuss is the agri income tax. Uh, because you know agriculture products are also uh, uh, taxed by the government. Uh, on the other hand, a National Taxation Reform Commission NTRC has evaluated policies of imposing taxes on agriculture sector. There is a group of landowners who reside in urban areas. Uh, there are arguments uh, on whether agriculture income should be taxed or not. Uh, now some of the policy makers, some of the economists say that it should not be taxed, some say that it should be taxed. Now we'll see that NCA, National Commission on Agriculture is against this argument and say that agricultural holdings are too small and to generate taxable income. So NCA, jo hai, National Commission on Agriculture, jo banaya gaya tha, wo ye kehte hain ke, uh, it is uh, agriculture sector is too small and it should not be taxed. Agri is risky. On the other side, aap ye kahen ki it is risky sector uh, 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 and heavily depends on natural factors which creates uncertainty in the final product. Mm, and there is no proper insurance of agriculture output. Agriculture sector pays the largest percentage of indirect taxes that is 42 percent of all indirect taxes are paid by the agriculture sector so it should not be taxed more. So, we have said that agriculture, there are different opinions by different research, uh, policy makers. NCA says that, the National Commission on Agriculture says that this is a small sector, there are small farmers, and this is a very uh, uh, risky sector in, in, in terms of business uh, due to different climates, due to different natural factors, or there is no insurance as well. And it, 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 it pays the maximum percentage of indirect taxes, which is 42% of the total indirect taxes are paid by the agriculture sector. So because of these reasons, uh, there should not be, agriculture sector should not be taxed. On the other hand, uh, there is a commission, which is NTRC, National Taxation Reforms Commission, has evaluated policies of imposing taxes on agriculture sector and there is a group of land owners who reside in urban areas and made investment in real estate uh, with income from their agribusiness. Uh, wo ye kehte hain ki ek group hai land owners ka jo ke urban areas mein reside karte hain and they are doing business of real estate and they have got income, their income is coming from the agricultural business. Since they pay no taxes, so they are questioned by traders 
and salaried class to pay tax. Many traders have purchased agricultural land with an intent to escape from income tax. Right? So, बहुत सारे लोग जो urban areas में रह रहे हैं, traders जो urban areas में investment कर रहे हैं, they have purchased agricultural land to escape from the tax. Uh, of the government so many large farmers are earning handsome amount of money from agriculture sectors and they are supposed to pay tax so ntrc ye kehta hai ke this commission gives comments in the favor of the uh, that agricultural sector should be taxed nca ye kehta hai ke is chota sector hota hai risky sector hai risky business hai tax nahi hona chahiye so this was all about today so what we have learned in today's lecture so we discussed in detail the agriculture sectors of pakistan economy and we started to overview the agriculture sectors of pakistan economy then we have discussed the problems issues faced by the agriculture sectors of pakistan economy then we have discussed the uh, tax system uh, taxes uh, on agricultural products and i hope you have uh, and got sufficient sufficient information about the agriculture sector of pakistan economy and i uh, just in this slide if you look in this slide i can tell you the major textbook are the sources of information of this particular lecture because you cannot find this from the textbook to aapko in sources se dekhna padega um, if you want to know more information about the agriculture sector of pakistan economy so you can look at the book of ishrat husain as at the s akbar uh, said khaja and economy economic survey of pakistan of different years of pakistan economy right so these are some of the recommended textbook uh, recommended books for this particular lecture so we stop our lecture here today uh, till the next time we meet in next lecture god bless you allah hafiz